welcome to the Esports Weekly Recap for the week of September 30th to October 6th. I'm your host, PJ Fiscus, also known as Fiskguy25, and also with my other host... Aaron Allen, also known as Turtle Strike, and yeah, we got a lot of games this week. Yeah, um, like usual. Like usual, and hey, I'm the one getting interviewed this oh. week. We also got our new jerseys in. Yeah. For this season. Um, this isn't mine, but... It's, oh, it's not yours? Yeah, this is like I, my freshman know, year one I, or something. Can I show it off? Yeah, you can show it. I can show it off a little bit. That's about all you can see. There's... That's about all you can see about that. Um, but we do start off with Overwatch. They did a lot better in the ABC this week. Uh, they swept it. They beat California State University, Long Beach, Blue, and Texas AM Green 2-0. Uh, this brings their switch stage record uh, to 4-4, four and four, and they played their last... Um, round of uh switch stage tomorrow uh so we're gonna see how they end up doing there yeah but they're getting, doing better and better they start out one and three and now they're four and four so yeah that's pretty good for a tournament you got invited to that you didn't know you're gonna play you yeah know? you know i've played now yeah. so you're like oh okay but yeah i think we have a clip for that do we uh no we have a oh, clip no, that's we have abc a, that's abc so yeah. we, we don't have clips for abc because uh we're not allowed to stream it it's it has a bunch of weird rules oh, for did it. Did we not get the happy clip? Oh, ha I try to have it as happy. We'll get it next uh, time. It was right. a sick clip I heard. All right, but now we're moving on to Rocket League, which had a very good showing, and I could I could say that because I actually played in the games. Uh, we had CRL, basically the biggest qualifier of all of Collegiate Rocket League, and we played very well. We actually made it to grand finals through the winners bracket to the surprise of everyone else in our bracket. We actually upset two different high level teams. Uh and then we got to grand finals and then we played Fisher Friends again who was the highest seed of that bracket. Uh which is also the second team of the best uh college in the in the world. You guys also swept them the first time you played them in the tournament. Yeah, we did. Um uh, I think that was only because, like, they were not expecting us. And then once we got to the final game, we just played better. But, yeah, then our, you know, our big break, because we didn't play for another three hours. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. And uh, Fisher Friends ended up sweeping us the first series and then beating us 3-1 in the last series, or 4-1, I think it was. But, yeah, that, that was tough. Uh, and then... Uh, other than that, though, we also had Nace. Uh, we played the Bearcats, and we 3 0 them pretty pretty easily, if I do say so myself. It, it but, was like 6-2, yeah. 4-2, and then like 5-1 or something. Yeah, like yeah. But we do have a clip for that, as you might have seen. Yeah, we do have a clip for that. And let's take a look. All right, Fire's got it. Over to this guy. Ducky with Over a C. Duck. Oh, look at that teamwork. Look at that teamwork. What a pass. All right. Fire's got it. Ah, hey. Three-man pass. You put the pre you put the pressure on goal. Stuck him out and got the off-the-wall pass. You guys have gotten a lot cleaner at that over the like weeks of like the side off the side walls into the center field and just dunking mm -hmm. it in. I feel like watching that that's been progressively getting better yeah trying to get better at just team passes and team plays honestly mm -hmm. well overwatch they coming off of the 2-0 uh sweeping of abc face clearly uh university i've like looked at their overwatch for an ace they are like has to be in the toughest group yeah like, like i keep looking at these universities i'm like these are like the ones that are like like how, what how, i have no idea how the seating for that went down uh unfortunately they did fall 3-0 uh their nace bracket, their nace is just hard really? for some reason. Okay. It's like all the people have all I think all got top eight last year. That, that a lot sucks. Or like top sixteen. So it's like they have a rough nace one going on. But then yeah, they got that. Um, then we had Smash Bros. Uh, face Michigan University Flint. They two owed them. Um, first game uh was a uh, Travis Lynn uh twelve stock. Uh, they scouted out the enemy team and they're like, you guys don't have a snake player. <laughs> Uh, who's this? And uh, found out that they were playing a person who was not uh, on the roster. So they won the first set based off that. Even though, like, Gabe, they played the first game out. Gabe three-stocked the runner. Mm -hmm. Gabe had a really good series. I was, like, if I had to say, um, play and see. Because then the second series, uh, our second set, Gabe got, like, six stocks in a row and then fell. And then they ended up closing out uh, two to zero. Wow. But pretty dominant uh, for, uh, for Smash. Having kind of the overwatch of ABC, they started out, like, one in... They sour out like one and two, and now they're three and two, so they're coming back. 
nice. uh, going into their final weeks. And we do have a clip of Fantasy getting another one of those streak kills. Basically, zero to deathing them, like 3% remaining. Like, nice. he got tagged once. Oh, oh this, look this at that little, teamwork. Gabe is really good on my What a fair. pass. All right. Fire but uh, we might it. see a three stock Over if he keeps guy. this up. Putting a Skittle on him. Ducky with Over. a C. Duck. Oh, three look point. at that teamwork. Forward this smash, though. That will take what it. What a pass. Ooh, this, this is a little. Right. We had a little technical difficulties there. The Rocket League clip was going the entire time. <laughs> 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 It happens. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, clean stock by him. Um, Got that going. Yeah. And, I mean, that's it for the games this week. Yeah, now I think we have a very important interview to, to commence. Uh, Here we have Aaron Allen, Turtle Strike, also known as Turtle Strike. He plays on, I think, what is it, League of Legends or something? Yeah, it might yeah. be League of Legends. It might be League of Legends. Fourth year. Um, all right, so let's get it started. How do you feel about the team right now in its general place? Um, going into the off season was really rough because, uh, we lost two key players in jungle and AEC. Uh, the jungler, uh, was a freshman who decided no one come back completely fine. But it was one of those things that like, you got a freshman come on, you're like, expect them to stay. So we got blindsided that. Um, so we actually snagged Breadlow from Smash Bros. He wanted to play league more. So we kind of snagged him, took him over, but, um, him sent by the disco, they have been proved so much since we started, um. Looking very strong. I mean, a lot of... They're playing probably, I would say, like, entire, like, two divisions above what their actual ranks are. Okay. Like, actually in-game. Like, uh, Senpai, uh, Brandon Reed. He got interviewed, like, a couple weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. He is plat right now, but he can go hand-to-hand -hand with the Diamonds. And then uh, Dustin Breadloaf also can go hand-to-hand -hand with Diamonds. It's just one of those things is that they've improved a lot. Maybe their solo rank isn't where it should be, but their, like, team coordination with us... I mean, it's looking good. I... I genuinely believe we have fall warm up starting, and then we have Nace. I'm, I'm sure we can win because we got put in the third lowest. I think we just can sweep fall warm up. Okay, okay. So you're you're thinking that the team chemistry is actually pretty good right now, even though oh, it's yeah. like it's kind of makeshift a little bit, right? The team, <laughs> a little bit. It's a little makeshift uh, compared to. I mean, it's better than uh, last C level season when we had to sub me into jungle and chase Arctic Wolf uh, from top lane to support. So we had two people off roles. Uh, we're back on our main roles, and we've kind of been popping off in our streams nice. and stuff. We've been, yeah. we've been looking good. That is great. And uh, what kind of tournaments do you have? So we have fall warm up. Uh, that's gonna be Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, it's CLO. It's like they do it every year before the main season in the spring. Mm. Uh, Saturday and Sundays basically it's a switch stage. Uh, top seed from each group. There's like 39 groups get put into the uh knockout bracket. Then we have Nace. Tuesday and Thursday, like we have a condensed month season of Nays. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday at seven, we'll just be going against those teams. I don't bracket is getting made on Sunday. I think we they told us we we're like in contention for the top thirty-two. They just had to verify everyone's ranks and stuff. So we're gonna see uh, where we get placed there. Nice, um, nice. yeah, I don't know if we get top two thirty-two and Nays. That's pretty good because I think we missed the cut by literally like thirty-fourth last year. Oof. So that was rough, but um, yeah, no, we're looking good. Um, we're actually winning scrims for once. Uh, if I I don't know if we've talked about it before, but in the past we've always we always lose scrims. Always scrims. We always we can't win scrims. It's so oh. bad. Like we will never win scrims. Get to game day and we just stop. And we're like, why can't we do this in scrims? Yeah, my <laughs> my team has a problem where we'll just like not try in scrims, <laughs> but we'll still win. So we'll know like, okay, this wasn't worth our time. Yeah, no, no, it's bad though because we're like we're trying, we're getting there, and then we just like fall apart in scrims. Then we get to game day, and we're like, oh, okay, I guess everything's clicked now. Yeah, well, nah, winning scrims is great against like teams that, you know, are for your skill level. Mm -hmm. Like I, that's very important to like know what your team needs to work on. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anything else you want to highlight about the league or the season at all? Um, I can't. I can't, Without giving anything away, just get ready. I have wacky picks, like always. <laughs> we, everything's situationally OP. I'll get a t-shirt eventually. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We, we got interesting picks to just go throughout the entire board. So if you want to see some fun League of Legends, that's not the same. Um, When you get bored of Worlds, because Worlds is about to be Kai'Sa, Ash, Zeri, Kai'Sa, Ash, Zaya. It's, it's about to be boring. Oh, is it like just oh, a it's meta? The, it's just, so just... bad. Like okay. so much is viable, but they the pros suck. Yeah, and your your game has like 
over like what? We have 100, 100 We have 171 now. That's 100, 170 are playable for worlds because the one champion that just came out isn't wow playable in worlds. But yeah, we, we're only gonna rotate the same 20 to 30. It's fine. Don't That's worry about insane. it. Uh, yeah. Anybody you want to shout out? Um, I mean, just I shout out my former teammates because they're gonna be watching. They always support us. And I, I always appreciate. It. Um, shout out to Mitch. Uh, we scrimmed his. He's over in uh, San Ambrosia. That we scrimmed them on Tuesday. It was a good. It was a good set. Um, so shout out to um, yeah, everyone that helped us get to this point because it's been a rough off season, but we're ready to go because I'm fired up. I want to win so bad. <laughs> That's amazing. We'd love to see that. But, uh, but it's all I got. We got to shield now, though. We got to get the oh. we got the high notes. Bear Club, make sure to go to the Shawnee State University's Bear Club so you can donate specifically to us so we can help get uh, more money in a uh, more closet and I can get my fan that I'm going to bring up every time I'm on broadcast because it's hot in here. Yeah, buy the merch. Uh, follow the socials. Do it all, honestly. We Give do... me specifically money. Uh... Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> I can drop my uh, PayPal. Yeah. PayPal Venmo in the chat. Uh, send me like five bucks so I can uh, get my caffeine addiction fixed. Yes, yes. Um, but we do have a winter merch uh, sale that should be coming live. I want to say within the month. I want to say by the least early November, late October, we'll have our winter uh, limited time merch out. So keep an eye out for that. Yes. But yeah, League of Legends uh, will be streamed tomorrow at 3. And then that's so that's our next stream match is gonna be tomorrow at three. Wow. First o season opener for League of Legends. Over the break. Over the break too. It's best of one. I I don't think a single one of us in the entire server is happy that it's best of one, but it happens. <laughs> that's, um, yeah. But yeah, we have, and then so it's League of Legends. Then on Saturday, Sunday, both at three, and then uh, you guys start back up on uh, Monday at seven. Yeah, Those are then nice. next streams. Make sure to catch them. And yeah, we're undefeated. Undefeated in the nace and uh, what? It's three zero because you had to buy the one week, right? Yeah, I think it's either three or four zero. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, thank you everybody, um, everyone for watching. Make sure to uh, when you see this on YouTube, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Even if you're on Twitch right now, follow, drop notification so you can make sure you see us live and when we post these eventually. And we will guys see you next week for the next week's recap. Yes, sir. All right, peace out. See it.